But uh, let me say this again. We had a multi-million dollar budget hole in our budget. The city of Greenville had a property devaluation of $340 million when I came on board. That's what I inherited, a $340 million property devaluation, the first devaluation since the Great Depression. The normal budget process is the city manager walks in with a budget, they drop it on the table, city council gets asked about three questions, maybe, maybe a little more, very rarely are there any changes. Then the next meeting they vote on it and the budget's in. That's how it works. Well, the option was given to me, Mr. Sobel, by my city staff, recommended a tax increase across the board for every citizen to be able to offset this, as well as an increase in pay for all employees both years in a row. Now, a lot of items were discussed in this budget process, but our approach to handle this is to say, instead of taxing our citizens more and not taking care of our responsibilities, we had every department come in, in the city, and prioritize their budget. They came in and prioritized their most important things they needed to do. And by doing that, we cut millions out of this city's budget. We streamlined the budget. And while other municipalities were raising taxes in their cities, in our two-year budget, we cut taxes by $4.2 million for our citizens. Best kept secret in Greenville because the headline in the newspaper was the comment that you made. And just to be clear on that, I wish our city attorney, Dave Hollick, was here because the only city council member who seems to cry foul was the first one in line that agreed to take a pay raise, Mr. Mercer. Every single council member agreed to it. If anyone wants to call Dave Hollett tomorrow at City Hall and ask him, ask him. And that's where it stood, unanimous. I've heard this uh, question come up in many, many uh, sessions where I've been out meeting the people, meeting the citizens and learning. And I understand the concern that I've heard. It's not about uh, agreement on anyone's part as to whether or not they were going to support the, the increase of the raise. It's about the fact that it was not presented to the public in advance. As mayor, I would definitely be supportive always of being very transparent with the citizens and giving the citizens an opportunity to know what we're going to do in advance and make comments on. Also, from what I've learned, I'm kind of concerned about the fact that we didn't keep our city revenue neutral. It's a very common practice. Uh, what happened is our uh, house values were lowered because of you know the new appraisal value. But so they raised instead of keeping the tax rate at the same amount, they lowered it down. Okay, that's why we all paid a we paid a lower tax. Okay, so at any rate, that's, that's my response to it right now. It's not about who agreed or not or disagreed about the pay raise. It was about the fact that it wasn't presented to the public in advance.